Hello, hello, I am back with another video. And today, the purpose of this video is to talk about he wants to see who you really are. He wants to see who you really are. I was supposed, I have an appointment today, y'all, to go get my, um, to go get my sides cut, finally, to see how this new side style that I want gonna come out. And um, I'm sorry about that. I'm go yeah, to see how my size gonna come out. I ain't do no wig or nothing today, y'all. Um, <laughs> I decided to put my little wrap, some of my little wrap on, cause I'm really excited about getting my lining and hopefully my size have grown to blend in with this new style that that I'm trying to do. Cause you know, you know, we got. Well, I don't know about y'all, but that natural hair just be doing its own little thing. I'm trying to get it right before I do my reveal, so to speak, because I'm really excited about it. I love my hair. I love my natural hair. I really do. Um, you know, you know, and speaking of that, you know, my, a couple of my videos in here show, you know, when I had the little wigs and stuff on, which is really fun. And, and I want to talk about that in this video a little bit, you know, being natural and versus, you know, wearing wigs and, you know, the nails and the eyelashes and all of those things. That is really fun. It, it feels to me like you can dress up. It's like, you know, you know, the little fantasy world. You dress up. You can be all kind of little entities, <laughs> people kind of like role playing like and it's curly it's it's feminine and it's like oh you know they have this one um wig that i had on with a little bang in the front it was jet black with a little bang you know straight like the little bob whatever i was like oh it's like a little chinese black girl you know we have made everything that exists you know it all came from melanin so i i could do that i could do chinese too <laughs> So no shade thrown at those women at all in this video. Matter of fact, I purposely did those videos so y'all can see that side of me too. Because like I said, it's fun and you know, it's it's something different. Sometimes you just get boring to yourself, not to other people. It's not for other people validation. To yourself, just looking in the mirror the same way. For me, you know, with natural hair, I get tired of it. I want to transition. I want to do different things. So I was like, oh, well, you know, I know a lot of people in my physical reality that always be trying to do different stuff on me. You know, the people that do hair and makeup and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, you know, I really do get nervous because I'm not, I'm not, you all know, I'm introverted and in, like colors. And stuff make me nervous when I'll keep, when they'll do my hair in different colors. I'm like, oh no, no, just just black, just black, you know, stay focused. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to throw that in into this video because I don't see a wrong who am I to judge anybody where they are in their physical reality. But it is about the energy though. It is about the energy that you hold when you do those type of things, you know. When you do those type of things in the physical reality and you begin to oh they got a mosquito in here. And begin to um, cover up yourself, so to speak. It's um, it kind of like directly reflects with 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 that aura energy being on a low frequency, and then you kind of no, I'm not gonna say kind of. You really do <laughs> give off of an energy that maybe you need to practice more self love, you know. And so, a lot of people, I, I know, because I know energy, do those things to cover up something, to cover up some, you know, low self-esteem, to cover up some hurt, you know. But when you can't love yourself in your natural state, how do you expect other people to love yourself or to love on you? You know, just like when you can't spend time alone with yourself in between relationships, how do you expect somebody to really want to be in a relationship 
with you and stay there and be you know, committed or loyal to you if you don't even love you and you don't want to spend no time up in a room with you. So, anyway, back to the subject. Well, that ties into the subject. He wants to see who you are. And I'm reminded of that song. Um, it says, um, uh, I just want to see how beautiful you are. If life was a movie then you'll be my star or something like that. I know you're a star. It's a song by, it's called Best Part by um, Daniel, Daniel Caesar. <laughs> you're the best part. You know, and, and, and when he says you're the best part, it's, it's the totality of you, you know? And in, in first and foremost with men, they, it's about the physical aspect of you, okay, yes. But if your physical is not matching your aura, then that energy is going to push him away down the line, you know? So you could put, we could, so we could put those things on us and don't be on a frequency of feminine and don't be on a frequency of beauty and don't be on a frequency of divine and we're going to run them all. Point blank period. I don't care how much makeup you put on. I don't care how cold you are with it. <laughs> and so then we have men that's on different levels. Like I said in the previous videos, some men don't even like that. Some men, like really high, high class men, they don't like all of that um, weave or wig stuff. If you pay attention, peep game always in every situation to the wives, you know, they'd be so simple looking. They'll have the little bob you know a little short hair or you know perm hair they have money these women and they choose not to you know they choose not to express themselves that way some men on certain frequencies they don't like you not showing them the totality of who you are but then when you get to other men some other men will accept it they'll be like i don't care so it depends upon who you're trying to attract, but regardless of who you're trying to attract in your physical reality, make sure that your heart is intact. Make sure you've dealt with your issues and experienced or um, resolved those issues that needed therapy. You know, resolve those little girl issues, the, you know, molestation issue, that lack of um, self-esteem, you know. And, and do some inner work on yourself too. Inner, I mean, outer work on yourself too. Because oftentimes, they be having women. And I'm not trying to judge. I'm just trying to be transparent with you all. They have women that don't want to work out. Can't put the chillings down or cook it. You know, don't want to comb maybe their hair. Or even wrap it up, you know don't um want to put lotion on them crusty feet but yet they we like walking around and saying they the best thing that ever happened and men pay attention to the physical though and who talking about that yeah it's cool to aspire to be any woman you want to be but how about being a soft feminine woman though because that's what the men want so how about being a woman that's in shape you know, how about being a woman <laughs> that smiles, it says hi to them, you know? One day I was in the the, the store and I was like, hey, how you doing to the man by, by um, the meat market, you know, because I was just passing and he was packing meat, um, the meat department. And I just smiled and said, hi, a black man. And he stopped packaging the meat and he's, he came over to me, he was like, Man, you're, you're beautiful. Thank you for, for smiling and speaking to me. I just had to come over here and introduce myself to you because, you know, most women come up in here, they look like they be mad at, at the world and, and me too. And they don't even speak. They don't, they don't, they don't do that. You have a good day, ma'am. You just came over there, didn't ask about my number, wasn't trying to flirt like that. Just came over there just to tell me I and that goes to show that our energy sometimes might be off. <laughs> because I, I get it. I get it. We go through a lot in the physical reality. Because I've been there. And I'm not saying 
and that I wasn't there. Because I was there. I was probably that person that didn't speak one day. No, probably I was. Just because you be in your head. Well, for me, it was because I be in my head and calculating. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I be in my head and calculating the things you got to do and and the you know so it seems outside that you got the stresses of the world on your shoulder and you're displaying them on your face and so that's not showing how beautiful you are mm -mm. that's not showing how beautiful you are that's showing how chaotic your world is so if we could begin to pay, to pay attention to those things and allow the people that we're and it's not necessarily dating the people that we are around at work the people that we are dating, the people in our home that we love, to, to, you know, to see how beautiful we are. A relationship is a relationship. Any type of ship should be going somewhere. You should be sailing somewhere. So let them, let them sail <laughs> down the stream of your love energy and let it flow easily to them. So, because we supposedly have this eternal love, why, 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 why are people not experiencing your love? Is it not flowing? Is it clogged up? We gotta ask ourselves that in the physical reality. We really do in order to heal and move past those hurts and pains and stuff in, in our physical. So, so men, and, and, and I'll go back to that part about it, you know, men too <laughs> have feelings, have experiences, and they want to know or experience you. They want to experience you, and um, the way you experience, they experience you is you allowing yourself to be vulnerable and opening up to them. And if you don't allow that to happen... <laughs> If you're afraid to allow that to happen, that need that means you need some more work. That means something else is there stopping you. You can't blame that on you can't blame what's in there on that man or that family member or on that coworker. You can't. Cause it's not their fault. But that's what we seemingly do in the physical reality. Just like, you know, the road race, for example. That person had a bad day or a bad childhood or bad something. But they want to blame everybody on the road for it. Well, we did. We just trying to get home. You see? And so, <laughs> there's so many things out there in the physical reality that have people programmed into not wanting to open up, not wanting to be transparent, not wanting to speak your truth. You have the social media that has you, have you wanting to look beautiful and happy all day long. You have programs on the TV that has got you wanting to be Miss Independent and strong. Just keep it, suck it in, and you can do anything, and you don't need a man. And then you got YouTubers out there that tells you to go deceive and go lie to men. Go lie to them and deceive them and take the bag. Just as long as you get yours. Take the bag. Men been doing it to us all the time. Take the bag. When you play the game, there's a great possibility that you could get played. <laughs> but we should think about long term when we think about that foolishness long term okay so let's think let's think long term long term for the for the um for the lady that's getting trying to get the bag for multiple men getting the bag just getting the bag just getting the bag the energy that she's given out to those men she's taking she has the ability to take the emotions out of it and she go get that bag she go get that bag, you know, that's all, that's the whole, that's her life. She put makeup and clothes on just to go, 
to get the bag. That's her job, like, you know, her existence. So just think about all of the men she went through. And not, and, and, and I'm not meaning sexually here. All of the men that she just experienced, that she took from, she took from. She's labeled. And even if, even if it's these, these, these established men, let's do the long, because, because, because the, because the middle class men, they, they probably the ones that's going to go, you know, get more butt hurt than the, than the, than the established man. So, so let's see the ones that are well off, they live in abundance. So giving to her means nothing. Giving to her means nothing. So what does she have long term? Somebody that's just giving her money out of their abundance to pay bills. She still doesn't have that relationship. You see? I say that because mostly the person that's going to be affected by that is the, the, that middle class man, the one that's trying to get somewhere that is that's really going to get butt hurt. And see, I feel seemingly that's the man that <laughs> really have it rough as far as women with his bag stuff. Because the women with the bag stuff is ignoring him, for one, draining him financially, for two, in denial of themselves because some of them don't even deserve no bag. Just a cookie so they could go sit their big self down. <laughs> but what is it doing to, to that, that person? And so the cycle goes on. So he got taken from, now he butt hurt and feelings hurt. Now he trying to take from another woman. He trying to maybe hit it and quit it. And so we just creating a cycle. We just creating a cycle. We just hurting ourselves. This this black love, so to speak, it, it ain't even existing. Because everybody hurting somebody. Everybody hurting somebody because it ain't hurt. Because nobody don't want to show nobody how beautiful you are. <laughs> no, I ain't showing you. No, you can't see my beauty. I'm you you gonna get it. Cause I'm gonna get mine. And so long term with this an independent woman. Oh, let's talk about long term with a little independent woman. They don't need nobody. They don't need no nobody. She's a eye. Long term, she gets to that place in her life where she dog ass tired. Because she never dealt with herself. She never dealt with the issues that was pressing against her. And then she gets to that moment where she feels like, yo, oh, my biological clock is ticking. I've been climbing this corporate ladder all my life and now oh, 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 I'm old. Because I didn't ever want nobody to see how beautiful I was, to see how vulnerable I was, to see how soft I was. Because I never wanted to go to therapy. Or be my own therapist and ask myself in the lonely moments of, of life, why? Why do you feel this way? Stop it. Control yourself. Open up your heart anyway. No, she didn't want to do that. Uh -uh, that was just too much vulnerability. She didn't. She didn't want. She didn't want to submit. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That was a power, but she didn't want to do that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, she got feel strong when, when he's supposed to be strong she don't want chills yeah. I know these things because I've been through these things I'm very introverted and I pay attention to the things that go on in the physical reality and a lot of these things are from Bridget <laughs> the lifestyle Bridget lived Bridget is finally able to love and show her love. This is why I even do the videos. This is why my relationships are way better than they ever had been in my physical reality. This is why I speak from my heart because it's finally opened up. <laughs> the barbed wire, K9.
and I can speak my truth. So I'm saying to you, allow a person to experience how beautiful you are. Because you're the best part. You should be the best part of people's physical reality. Not just outside, inside too. So we have to do the inner and outer work. Inner and outer. Throwing a wig on, it's cool and all, it's really pretty. And it's that it's that that role play and that fantasy. But who are you really? You know, as a as a as a mother, me as a mother, and having young men. And these the the women in the physical reality that's out just to get theirs and they were to and you I wanna say it this way because you probably have a little boy or a little girl or somebody that you care about because I know we all as mothers have this, this unconditional love for our children, or at least most of us do. <laughs> Some I know don't I know. But just think if one of those women that's getting the bag and being De uh, conniving and deceiving men what's to run across one of your boys then how you feel you ever thought about that because I know Bridget will come forth if she if she ever heard about that kind of stuff happening to her <laughs> her boys her reasons her sons, S O N and S U N energy. And she'll come forth. And she just, you know, that movie, she'll say, just like on that movie, Taken, I will find you and I will kill you. <laughs> Point blank, period. Sorry for the masculine energy, but Bridget Wood, I got that yin and yang in here. I got that masculine and feminine in here. And that will bring out that masculine. Find you and I will kill you. <laughs> because that's love. The people that you're trying to hurt and not let feel your love or feeling your hate. And you transferring your hate to them or your wall to them. And guess what? Energy is not destroyed. It's simply transformed. So he gonna transfer it to her and she gonna transfer it to him and he gonna transfer it to her and and the thing go on and on and on until you do something with the energy. So why don't we, I got a great idea. Why don't we work on ourselves and then show others how beautiful we are. And then they'll show somebody else how beautiful they can be. And then they'll show somebody else how beautiful they can be. And the list goes on and on and on and on. And when you get to this place, you ain't gotta lie. When you get to this place, don't worry about the game because can't nobody play you. <laughs> can't nobody play you. Can't nobody play God. Can't nobody step to the face of God and survive with tactics and games based upon human nature? Man, get the heck up out of here with that. Melanin don't care about no human nature. You think the dark force care about human nature? You think the black hole care about human nature? <laughs> and get in the bag. You will never be able to destroy it. It will destroy you with its power. <laughs> because love is the most powerful form of energy that it is. From my heart to yours, baby. You do what you want to do with your energy. Like I, I always say, and I know how human nature is, words don't teach. Life experiences, she teaches us though. Go ahead on hide underneath 
whatever you need to hide. Go ahead on and get those little things in the physical that's gonna fill that hole, that, that void. Keep on, keep on getting them, keep on getting them. Go ahead on. Go ahead on and lie to people and deceive them. It's real good. Go, go deceive them. Yeah, they, they deserve it, maybe. Go ahead on and do it. Go ahead on and do it. But then one day, if it's this lifetime, when you evolve to your higher self, you're gonna realize you ain't gotta do that. All you gotta do is be still and know that I am God. From my heart to yours, baby, I'm about to go get my hair done. I'm about to go get this lined up. Be blessed. <laughs>